Hi everyone, I am uh, doing a stash dive giveaway because I um, have been receiving or purchasing three different kits for a long time now, Freckled Fawn, Studio Calico, and Scraptastic, all three for a very long time, well, for at least a year, and I have become extraordinarily overwhelmed by all of the scrapbooking stuff and the kits and I can't keep up and I try to keep them together as a kit but then my kits are just piling up and again I can't keep up so I made the decision that I am going to de-stash and then well first I went ahead and canceled two of my kits. So I'm not getting the Freckled Fawn Oh Dear Me kit anymore, and I am not getting the Scraptastic kit anymore. Although, I do believe I will be changing that. I think I will switch. I, for now, I'm getting Studio Calico, but I think that I'm going to switch that, and I'm gonna cancel the Studio Calico and go back with Scraptastic. I, I I stopped Scraptastic for now because that one's easy. You don't you're not you don't have any agreement with them, and you can stop at any time. And I just was impulsively needing to stop. I just suddenly was very overwhelmed and and just made the decision I have to fix it right now. And so I canceled what was easy, and now I'm only getting Studio Calico. Uh, so now that it's slowed down, I'm going to take the time and figure out when am I able to cancel my Studio Calico kit, and then I'll switch over. But the point is, I have too much scrapbook stuff, which I know sounds insane if you're a scrapbooker. But I am limited in space, and I am really feeling like I can't, half the time I don't know what I have because I can't quite keep it organized. So I just decided I went through months and months back. Uh, there was a kit back from December, maybe even November. And going all the way through to now August. And again, that's Scraptastic and Studio Calico, and that is not even, I had not been at ordering any add-ons for a really long time, so, well, not a really long time, but maybe like three months, so I went through all those kits, I kept several of them, maybe like four of them, five at the most, together as a kit, because I really want to use them as a kit the way they are, and I like the way they were, and I hadn't even touched them yet, so, um, I, I kept those uh, together as a kit, so those are not included, but here. And then I went through all the other kits, and I took out what I thought I'll never use, but that is still totally adorable. Um, and I am just de-stashing. And then what I kept, I put all in one box together, and that's what I'm going to use to scrapbook for the coming, I don't know, maybe even a couple months. It's a lot of stuff um, before I take that all apart and put it in my stash. So I've, I'm challenging myself to strictly just power through what was from these kits and not go digging in my stash. So that'll make me use a lot of it. So... That's my little challenge to myself, and then what, again, what I pulled out that I think I'll never use, or um, what I wanted to give away, I'm giving away in a D, in a D stash. So, I'm calling it Giddy for Scrapbooking Stash Dive Giveaway. So, in order to get these goodies, I'm going to require a couple things of you, which is easy peasy. All you need to do is, first of all, be a subscriber. 
So, there we go. You need to be a subscriber. So you can subscribe right now. And that's good enough. And then you just need to leave a comment letting me know that you want to be in the drawing. And that's it. That's all I'm requiring. Third, if you want some bonus uh, points or bonus... Okay, let me go back. So if you leave a comment and if you're a subscriber and you leave a comment, your name will be in the drawing one time. One time. If you post a YouTube video letting other people know about my drawing giveaway and telling people to head over to my channel, then you will get three extra entries. Your name in the drawing three more times for a total of four. So that's what I'm doing. And I do need to warn you some stuff may have been dug into already. Most of it is not, but some of it may be. And if that's a problem for you, then I would say don't, don't put an entry. But my feeling on that is there are scrapbookers out there that are brand new to scrapbooking and, and they don't have a ton of supplies. And I remember when I first started scrapbooking, I would take whatever I could get my hands on. Now I'm way more choosy. Again, I have so much, but back then, you know, because you need supplies in order to scrapbook. So I figure, you know, I would rather just throw it in here and I'm giving it away. So, you know, you can't complain about free, right? So that is the plan. Oh, and September 8th, I have that circled here, is the deadline. So leave your comment, subscribe, and leave your comment by 12 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on September 8th. And same goes with posting the video for letting people know about me. Um, which is a little bit funky because then they won't be able to enter. So if you're going to do that, if you could do that a little sooner, that would be nice to the people that may be finding out about it. Um, but September 8th is my deadline, making it easy for me, myself to figure out. So, so that's that. And here are the goodies. So I'll start with papers, although these are letters. Um, had that upside down, sorry. I'm going to start with... Uh, the papers, because I, I consider that kind of the boring part, which is silly because I love scrapbook paper, obviously, but I love embellishments even more. Okay, but so here's some Studio Calico vellum. These are vellum alpha stickers. This came in a Studio Calico sheet or kit, so I'm giving that. And then here's some card stocks that came in kits that I just never used. And I'm sure there's more of those card stocks down below. Yeah, here. I'm going to pull them out right now. So there's that. I'm going to go through these papers pretty quick. Oh, these were a Scraptastic. Because Scraptastic kits always give two of the card stock. These are all upside down. Okay. So I'm going to go through these quick so I can make this video short. Well, sort of, as short as I can. So there's that. 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 This is adorable. Style board. Cardstock with foil. More gold. I'm trying to show both sides. Not doing the best job of it. And some of these are pretty darn new, actually. This is older, in my mind's eye. I also went through a couple of collections that I had. My mind's eye, Find Your Wings and Fly, and then this um, Teresa Collins. A couple of these papers are dug into and cut a little bit, the Teresa Collins. But I figure I'll give them to you instead of throwing them away. Especially since it's an entire collection. So some of them have two sheets. This is a transparency. Oh, 
this is a cute paper. Oh, and the stars. I used that in the other sheet in the layout. Very cute. And then here's more scrap kit. This is from a kit. And then here I got this at Tuesday morning. This is some of those real thick chipboard stickers. And it has two sheets of that. So there's that. And partly, by the way, I had to limit this to what would fit in a, a priority mail medium flat rate envelope. So that limited me a little bit what I could give. So here's these Studio Calico patches. Here, I'll zoom back in now. Because now we're getting to the good stuff. The embellies. There's that. Here are these little freckled fawn puffy stickers. My mind's eye, this went with that Find Your Wings and Fly kit. I did use that, but there's the others. This went with the Teresa Collins. It's ribbon. Never even opened. Here's a ribbon I got in a kit. And another ribbon from a kit. Don't remember what kits. Here's Studio Calico badges, his and hers. Here's another Studio Calico badge set from a kit. And then I went through my badges and gave, I'm giving away a bunch. These I probably would have eventually used, but I have a ton and I just thought, you know, there's in a giving spirit. I'm very grateful. I have 11, over 1,100 subbies now and 50,000 views. So this is also a, a way of me saying thank you for that. I do still want to do a challenge and hope to do one soon. This is not quite a not regular challenge because I'm giving away my used stuff or my stash. It's not all used. Um, okay, this says on this day. I think this was freckled fawn. And then this is Hello Sunshine. They're in there backwards, so. And then here, this is opened, but I, I never used any of these. I almost used them on a layout and then I didn't. So, I'm giving those. This, these, I never used any of these. These came in a Studio Calico kit. They're like wood. Um, veneer, kind of woodsy embellishment. Here's this little pack of stars. I think they're like a really thin wood, maybe. Or, I guess it could be paper. I'm not sure I didn't open it, so. And then here's a whole bunch of wood embellishments. Wood veneers, different. Got them all in one bag here. This says love right here. I ah, can't see myself on the camera, there we go. That circle says love, and then these hearts. Stars. Oh yeah, there's an owl in there, and a frame, a couple frames. These are some flames from the Kit. These all came from Studio Calico kits, I think. Well, actually, that's not true. Kit some could be freckle fun. So there's that. These little doodads. Some Studio Calico gems. These are uh, freckled fun. They're like little veneer cards. Here's this color theory paint. This came in a kit. It was kind of an extra giveaway thing that they did. And you all know, if you're a subscriber, you know how much I love to use paint. I use it tons. But I already have paint, and this is only the two colors. And I just don't really want to get into trying to collect another paint. I'm, I'm already kind of... Uh, started maybe doing gelatos. I've gotten some of them. And so that's a new 
well not totally new but they're and then studio calico also has these neo colors i think they're called and they're like a gelato i think but i haven't used them yet but i i i bought some of them so i just don't want to get into collecting yet another paint and this is an acrylic paint um it is cool it's thicker i think um but again yeah heavy body it's yours you now whoever wins <laughs> So here's some cutouts. These are from Scraptastic Kits. And I don't know what that came from. Maybe Freckled Fawn. To do a calico. Some metal. It's an ampersand. I've tried to use that one time, but a couple times actually. And a diamond. I mean, I really, I love the ampersand, but I'm giving it away because I'm overwhelmed. And then this sheet. I, I think that fell out. I don't think I ever used any of these. These stickers. Navy, which I mean you think because they're blue that I would be loving them. And I do love the font. Um, but they're sparkly and blue and they're just a little bit too bright of a blue for me i don't know they came in a kit and i'm giving them away these pins came in a kit these little sewing veneer buttons they call them studio calico this Really cool wood veneer thing. Never even tried to use it, but this envelope. Okay, the this is open. This is a DIY shop by Crate Paper photo overlays, but I never used it. I opened it and then I realized I have one of these already. And so I wish I hadn't opened this, but I really, I never did use them. Because I do have an entire another box of them. So. And. These gold. Uh, Heidi Swap stickers. I'm just not a big gold fan. That's just the way it is. I like it to use it a little bit. But I just move away from it. Naturally. And. Oh I don't know. What oh here. I'm also giving these for that reason because these are like a gold foil tag and they're just really gold. So I just tend to use silver more and I'm giving one of these gold doilies. I still have the other one. I do have another one. And then this is partly used but it's really cute and I figure someone could use that. That came from a Studio Calico kit. This was a giveaway that I got at a crop thing and it has some glitter and some buttons and I've had it for a while ribbon I just figure I'm going to give it to somebody else to enjoy it there's a red doily studio calico tiny alphas green tag and these cutouts Brad spring and March and some word stickers with some alphas. I have tons of these, so I'm going to give them to you to have them. And then this came in, in a Studio Calico kit. I think the last one, maybe. This little sheet. It's kind of cool. I think somebody will come up with something neat to do with that. Oh, and then this is the Teresa Collins. Some chipboard stickers from that paper. That, where I had the line. I got that, like, on a... Crafty deals or something. Crafty steals or whatever. And that is it. So that's the haul. Or the, not haul. Oh no, that's not it. I lied. Also, this entire bag that I put together of different stuff. Some more patches. Oh, can you see it? Some more patches. There we go. And these fun things, um, I don't even know what you'd call those flags, but they're like a plastic. 
but flimsy. And these owl cabochons and the typewriter and some funky star beads that I have. Other cabochons, this um, red flower. Um, oh, so I put some of these beads that I got. I have, I got the whole package of them and we'll never use them all. And there are a bunch of word beads. I think they're so cute. And then here's some, um, I think these are Maggie Holmes pins, clothes pins. Maybe Maggie Holmes, maybe dear Lizzie. Can't remember. Oh, and this little doodad. Oh, he got bent a little bit wire so that's a freckled fawn I'm gonna be careful and let's see the patches you could see so I think that's it for that one and then one more little bag and then we're done with some of these letters I put one of each alphabet and then I put extra uh, vowels because I can't possibly use all these tiles. It was such a great deal that I got. If you watch my videos, I got these at a flea market and I got a bunch of Scrabble letters as well and they were, I think, what was it? $7 for the whole ball or $5? Oh, can't remember. And then I put some cabochons that I've had forever in there. And, and then I gave you a roll of this film, microfish film that I got that's vintage and I used it in a layout. I still have three more rolls of this. And it was cool for layering. It's almost like I actually used it along with the Tim Holtz um, vintage looking negative strips and it was cute so so that is it so if you win if your name is drawn september 8th is the day of i will do that then these are all the goodies plus the paper that you will receive so that is that and good luck to you all and thanks for watching Bye-bye.